Hi everyone, it's Daniel from Esri, and today I'll be going through the Create Points from a Table tutorial for ArcGIS Pro. In this tutorial, we'll be taking points from a table and converting them to points in a feature class. By creating a feature class, we can then visualize the points on a map or a 3D scene. There's a link in the description where you can follow the step-by-step -step instructions for this tutorial using the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is start ArcGIS Pro and sign into your organization if you need to. Then, click on Open Another Project and select ArcGIS Online. In the search box, type Create Points from a Table Tutorial and press Enter. You might see more than one result with this name, so make sure you click on the item that has ArcGIS Pro Tutorials as the owner. Click OK. The project opens up the Taranaki region in New Zealand. The orange outline highlights the boundary of Egmont National Park. Mount Taranaki lies in the center of the park. Notice how the project contains a 2D map named Egmont and a 3D scene named Egmont 3D. On the ribbon, click on the Map tab. In the Navigate group, select Bookmarks. Under Egmont Bookmarks, click Egmont National Park to zoom into the park. Next, we're going to add a table to our map and convert it to a feature class using a geoprocessing tool. Feature classes are collections of common features that have the same spatial representation, such as points, lines, or polygons and a common set of attribute columns. Let's add the table to our map. Click on Add Data under the Layer group, then navigate to the Egmont National Park HUDs file and click OK. The table is now added to the Contents pane. Right-click on it and select Open. The attributes appear. They include the name and type of hut, the number of people it accommodates, and the latitude-longitude coordinates. It's important to note that lat-long coordinates or some other set of XY coordinate system values are needed to create a feature class from a table. Close the table. In the Contents pane, right-click on the CSV and select Display XY Data. The Display XY Data window appears. This tool lets you create a point feature class based on X, Y, and Z coordinates from a table. To do so, make sure the input table parameter is set to the correct CSV. In this case, Egmont National Park Huts. Then, check that the X field and Y field parameters are also set to the correct table fields, in this case, longitude and latitude. Next, change the output feature class name to EMP underscore lodgings. By default, the coordinate system is set to GCS WGS 1984. This is a coordinate system that is commonly used for latitude longitude values. Click OK. You will now see a layer named EMP underscore lodgings in the map. In the Catalog pane, expand Databases and the Create Points from a Table Geodatabase to see the new feature class. Now that we've added points to our feature class, let's add some metadata. Metadata provides important background information about your data. To change the metadata, go to the Catalog pane, right-click on the EMP Logins feature class, and select Edit Metadata. I'll go ahead and fill out the metadata for this feature class. You can pause the video to write out the metadata if you need to. In the title box, we have the name of the feature class. The tags box includes keywords that describe the dataset. Make sure the keywords are separated by commas. Next, the summary contains a brief description, while the description box has a more in-depth explanation of the feature class. The credits box shows the original author of the data. Under credits, click New Use Limitation. This box denotes any restrictions that the data may have. In this case, we'll write Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 New Zealand. In the Manage Metadata group, click Save and close the metadata view. Let's make sure the new points in our layer are actually huts in the region. On the map, zoom in to any of the point features. You can see that the point lies on top of one of the huts. Next, right-click the EMP Lodgings layer and select Properties. On the General tab, rename the layer to Lodgings. Click OK. Notice that the layer name has been updated in the Contents pane. On the Map tab, click Bookmarks and select Egmont National Park. As always, save your project. On the ribbon under Feature Layer, click the Appearance tab, and next to Out Beyond, select 1 to 500,000. This sets the minimum map scale for the layer. Now let's change how the layer appears on the map. Click on the symbol for the Lodgings layer. Then, in the Gallery tab, under ArcGIS 2D, click Square 1. Move over to the Properties tab and check the Enable Scale Base Sizing box. You'll see that a slider appears. It has two size stops that represent the minimum and maximum map scales of the layer. The first stop is set at 500,000. This is the smallest scale at which the layer is visible because of the visibility range setting we created using Out Beyond. 
The other size stop is set at 1000. We'll change the size to 12. This will be the maximum size of your symbol. Click on the first size stop and change the size to 2. This means that when the map scale is set at 500,000, the lodging symbol will be 2 points in size. As you zoom in, the symbol size will gradually increase until it reaches a maximum of 12 points. Next, click the Layers tab. Go to the color drop-down menu and select Animal and Violet. Change the outline color to gray 30%, outline width to 1.5, and click Apply. We can now see the changes that we've made to the layer. Go to the Bookmarks tab and click Taranaki region. Notice how the symbols don't display on the map. This is because the map zooms out beyond 500,000. If we change the map scale to 500,000, you can see that the features appear at the minimum size. As we zoom in, the symbol size increases. Go back to Egmont National Park bookmark and click Save. We just created a feature class based on lat long values in a table. We can keep building the feature class by adding additional points that weren't in the original table. One way of doing this is by finding a location on a map and adding it as a point to our layer. For example, let's say we know that there's a lodge somewhere on Manaya Road in Egmont National Park, but we don't have the exact street address. To add this lodge to our layer, first click Locate on the Map tab. Then, click the Options drop-down and make sure that the ArcGIS World Geocoding service is enabled. Search for the road and select the correct option. The map zooms in to Manaya Road. We can see the lodge we're looking for at the end of the street. In the Locate pane, right-click the marker and select Add to Feature Class. Then, expand Lodgings and click on Lodgings Feature Template. Click OK. In the Locate pane, click Delete. On the ribbon, click the Edit tab and select Attributes. We're adding a new feature to an existing layer, so the attributes that appear here are the same as the attributes of the Lodgings layer. Type in Dawson Falls Mountain Lodge, which is the name of the lodge we just found. For hut type, write hotel. For capacity, type 24 and click apply. Then clear the selection. Another way to add features to our layer is through XY coordinates. For example, let's say we know the lat long coordinates of a hotel. To add it to our layer, we'll open the locate pane and type in the coordinates. In the locate pane, right click the marker and select add to feature class. Then find the lodgings feature template and select OK. In the locate pane, click delete. You'll now see the new feature on the map. In the Attributes pane, type in Stratford Mountain House for the name, Hotel for the type, and 22 for capacity. Then, apply the changes to the feature class and clear the selection. On the Manage Edits group, click Save and then click Yes. In the Contents pane, right-click the Lodgings layer and select Attribute table. At the bottom of the table, you'll now see the two points we just added. Go back to the Egmont National Park bookmark and save your project. The last thing we'll do is view the layer in a 3D scene. You can display 2D layers in 3D scenes. We'll do this now. In the Contents pane, right-click the Lodgings layer and select Copy. Make the Egmont 3D active and paste the layer. Then, drag the Lodgings layer from the 2D layers to the 3D layers category. In the Contents pane, click the symbol. In the Gallery tab, under the Format Point symbol, type Cube and press Enter. Click on the option that says Standing Cube. Go to the drop down menu on the Properties tab and select a random color. Change the size to 5 and click Apply. You can now explore the scene using the navigation tools. As always, save your project. In this video, we converted a tabular dataset to a feature class using lat long coordinates and street addresses. This allows you to visualize and analyze a wide variety of data that is spatial in nature but isn't yet spatially enabled.